Evil is a supernatural TV drama with three main protagonists. David, a priest in training, Kristen, a behavioural psychologist, and Ben, a sceptic who is always looking for scientific explanations to all the strange things going on. They are all paid by the Catholic Church to investigate possible paranormal cases. There are two main things I like about this show. Firstly, it's got a great mix of creepiness, but also humour. It leans more into the creepy, using great directing and sound design to create some quite unnerving scenes, but that being said, it is also self-aware enough to not take itself too seriously. Like for instance, at the end of each episode, there is a demon called George who tells us what's coming in the next episode. The second thing I like about it, certainly in the first season at least, is how things can get debunked. Something creepy will happen, then after a while the resident sceptic Ben tends to work out the actual scientific explanation for these so-called paranormal events. But the show does a good job of keeping things balanced, so you never really know if there are actual paranormal things happening or not. Now season 1 was great, but season 2 has been a slight step down if I'm honest, mainly due to inconsistencies with the characters and their narrative. Now here come some spoilers, My mild spoilers but spoils nonetheless, so if you want to avoid them switch off now. There are a couple of instances in season 2 where supernatural things happen, they don't get debunked but the characters don't sort of get developed at all from this uh, from these paranormal things. One of the best examples of this is when the resident skeptic Ben is trapped and is being tormented by a demon. Fantastic acting, he's genuinely terrified and breaks down completely but after some realisation he actually turns to the monster and thanks it and the reason why he thanks it is because he says now I know what I'm fighting against. This would imply that he now believes in the supernatural and all that sort of stuff. But shortly after that, he seemingly goes back to being a sceptic. And it's just that sort of inconsistency that makes season 2 slightly less good. Still enjoyable though. Overall, I give season 1 4 out of 5. And season 2, 3 out of 5. Thank you for listening.